Hey guys, Underground Geek here. Sorry if I sound a little bit comfy. I'm sitting on the couch as I'm doing this review here. Um, so let me know what you think about if it sounds good or sounds bad. But uh, this is just the way I'm going to do it, so get over it. But anyway, um, I want to talk about a new comic. Uh, I don't know if you've been reading this series, but it's actually a really good series. And it comes from Marvel. Can you believe it? But And it also has all new in the title, and it's still good. But this is the all new Guardians of the Galaxy number 11. And uh, so far, I've liked pretty much every issue. Now, there's been one or two issues that's been just really a lot of talk and meaningless stuff on there. But the last couple of issues have been really good. And let's talk about this cover. You have on one side um, Nova Prime and on the other side one of the Ravens. And it looks really cool. I mean, I, I really like this uh, title or this uh, cover page. The only thing that scares me is... Marvel tends to put really good cover pages on sucky books to try to get them to sell. And so I saw this cover and was thinking, oh gosh. But uh, so at this point, you've got Nova in the book here. And uh, let's go over a couple of people that's involved in it. It's uh, Gary Dugan, Rowan Boshi, 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 I don't know about that. Color artist Daniel Brown, lettering is Corey Pettit, and logo and design is Manny Medeiros. Uh, logo and design is great. I like the 80s feel. I like the neon colors. It's exactly what I was looking for in this style of comic because you know it's kind of mirroring the movies. That's the way they're kind of, they kind of feel. And this is Highway Patrolman. It says the Guardians uh, reunited for one last score, but what? should have been a simple smash and grab quickly devolved into an all-out chaos leaving the team caught in the middle of a feud between two elders of the universe star lord and his crew managed to escape mostly unscathed uh but peace was short-lived while transporting their now hot cargo a mummy sporting a pair of nega bands the guardian ship was attacked by a group of shiar warriors known as a fraternity of raptors the raptors leader colonnaire was hell-bent on retrieving the Nega Bands and a bit too familiar with the Guardians. Alright, so now uh, we go over to the story here. And uh, something I'd like to point out about this book is the title. Okay, it's All New Guardians of the Galaxy. And then after I read this book, I noticed they're not in this book. The team is not in this whole book. I mean, they have a Nova book right now. Why wasn't this in the Nova book? Why is this in the Guardians of the Galaxy? This is a Nova story. But anyway, now that I got that out of my system. It talks about, here's Rich Rider. He's, uh, my name is Rich Rider on Earth. They call, they used to call me the Human Rocket. Out here in space, they just called me Nova. And they're calling his name. They're trying to get him in here. They said they found something. On the ship that was, you know, drifting. It says, as best we can tell, this call was uh, was logged but never forwarded or, or acted upon. It's possible the crew had already abandoned ship or they were already dead. And then something pops up and says, if you can hear me. And he says, that voice. This is Nova Denarian uh, Robbie Ryder transmitting in the dark. I hope somebody is receiving this. I'm using what little power I have left to bounce one message towards Xandar and another towards Earth. It's my kid brother. The Nova Force is fading. My helmet is undamaged, so I can only conclude that something is terribly wrong with the Force and the corpse. I'm going to try to jumpstart the Nova Force. If I can, I'm heading to... And then it was cut off. Unfortunately, that's all we uh, could be recovered at this time. I'm, sure, I'm sorry, Rich. I thought my brother flew into the Cancerverse with the rest of the corpse. I'd never been looking... I, I have been looking for him all this time if I'd known he was still there. 
And so he says he's going to go looking for him. He cuts a hole out of the ship and takes off. He said, if Robbie's still alive, I'll find him on Xandar. And then we get somebody else talking here. He says, my ship ran out of juice two quads from Xandar. That was six months ago. From the looks of this place, the corpse never made it back in the can from the cancer verse for a moment. I'm barefoot, bereft. But then I realize I'm still here. They have succeeded. And basically you can see the ship is like destroyed. There's the... Uh, the symbol of the Nova Corps there from the ship. It looks very dire. Um, he's pretty much, you know, tore his uniform to shreds. You can see him taking his shoes off because I guess he's tore his boots up. And uh, he says, I get to the old headquarters only to find recent tracks. I expected trouble. Novas usually don't walk. I'm unarmed until I know who else is here. I'm listening and evading. I thought I was following them. But they were following me. And he gets knocked out. And he says, wow, raptors? He says, stay down, Nova. Get the heck off Xandar. He says, ha, you think we want to be here? It's a pile of rocks. It's the worst gig in, uh, in the fraternity. Take anything that looks related to the world uh, mind or the Nova Force. Our friend is awake. And then basically he tells him, hey, this is my name. That's all you're going to get from me. He says, we shall see about that. The device is what uh, you would have called a simulated reality. It works first by depriving your, depriving your senses of any stimuli except for what we programmed for you. An hour can feel like a year if I want it to. Basically, he puts on the mask. He starts feeling great pain, and then he turns into a, a drooling zombie. The prisoner is ready for transport. Prisoner rider, where is the world mine? And... Uh, I, you know, I thought that was kind of anticlimactic because he's like, ah, and he's like, ugh, okay. And then they basically, they're asking him where it's at. He uh, turns into a zombie pretty much. They give him some kind of liquid, I, I guess, to keep you from dying. And uh, he says, you know who I am, but who are you without the Nova Corps? I have a multi-drive file on your brother's exploits, but almost nothing on you except for that brain of yours. I want to be a scientist. You should have remained a scientist, Robbie. But the world mind chose me. But now the living Nova computer is gone. And you've been chosen for another calling. This is your Nova helmet. And you can die wearing it right now. Or you can let me put the Inquisitor back on your head. And you can continue your journey. Perhaps you will find redemption. Choose which helmet to wear. And then he says. Uh, he points towards the door. And he says. Robert no one is going to kick in that door. And take you home. He said, well, it used to happen like that. And then the door comes smashing open, and he says, Robbie, and it's Nova Prime. He says, I'm supposed to be saving my kid brother, but that's not what happened, and I have no one to complain to about it. Robbie was here a long time ago. I'm just too late. And then we get the, you know, first I was like, yes, he got saved. And then I was like, oh, crap, it's, that was a long time ago. It was a flashback. Uh, he says, the Citad Citadel is empty. My brother was definitely here, but it looks like that was ages ago. I'm going to scout the system, see if I can pick up any sign of him, then maybe take some personal time before I see you again. I'm not giving up hope. And he says, Robbie's he's still out there. He's got to be. And, he, and then we cut back to Robbie, and he says, it feels like it's been years. How long have I been here? And he says, you're right. I don't need this helmet anymore. Once again, it's time for you to choose. But I'm not Shi'ar. Neither was I once. Choose Now choose death as Robbie Ryder or rebirth as someone new. And so he starts putting the uniform on, the claw on. He says, pick the helmet or the talons. Whatever you decide will be the right answer. He slashes the helmet and throws it away. And he says, I'm a talon. And then Robbie is fully brainwashed at this point into a talon. You will have to learn this honor every day for the rest of your life. The fraternity of Raptors accepts a new member in front of the head of our new General Kadar. Now rise, Talon, rise. No. That is not my name. Ryder was given to me by the ones who abandoned me. And he says, I will not answer to that name for now. Does it make me as simple as Talon R? And then they give their little group yell there. We live to serve the Talons. Let no one oppose us. And uh, then they meet the, the general. 
basically the leader. It says the Nova Corps was weak. Its power uh, flow, flowed from a single source, and when it was depleted, the corpse withered. The raptors will be stronger. Our power will be uh, diversified. We will liberate the androids, and then we will uh, march across the galaxy. To do that, we must find what is missing. We must possess the Infinity Stones. So uh, the new Talon, uh, Robbie, apparently is a high ranking, by judging by his uniform. He says, find the Negabands, Talon R. Let no one oppose you in this quest. Do this for the raptors or suffer the fate of those who fail. Find the bands and the stones and destroy anything in their path. So he's going after the Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, then for some reason in the next issue, uh, we're going to have, oh my gosh, <sighs> Dared, or, uh, Deadpool is going to be in another comic book. And I would just like to point out the strange team they have in the background. Uh, Doctor Strange, Cable, uh, Man-Thing, and uh, Deadpool. It's very 90s. That may have been an homage to an old team. I can't remember that team. But then they got, got cardboard cutouts of the Guardians of the Galaxy stuck on the front there. And But my thing is, why is Daredevil in another book? Or not Daredevil. I keep saying Daredevil. Why is Deadpool in another book? Can we let Deadpool be in one book for a while? He's not that cool of a character. He's literally just a dude with guns, okay? Uh, let him just be somebody. But anyway, so yeah, this whole book is about Nova and his brother in the Talons and not about Guardians of the Galaxy. And that would have been okay if this book was called Nova, but this book is called Guardians of the Galaxy. All new Guardians of the Galaxy, I may point out. And uh, they're not in the book. I don't really know what's going on, why they're not in the book, but for some reason they're not. Great job, guys. Great job. So you have the, uh, you have Nova and the Raptor on the cover, so you know you're not really saying, oh, they're in it. But then you cut the next page, and it's talking about the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then you look through here, and there's no Guardians of the Galaxy. That, that may just be me. It may be me nitpicking, but, uh, you know, if I pick up a comic book and it's called uh, The Punisher, and then, I, and then I start reading through the book and there's Gwenpool in it, and The Punisher's not in it at all, I would kind of go, hmm, I feel like I got gypped. Wouldn't you? I mean, I would. That's just me. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this review. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of my videos. And uh, stay tuned for my other uh, reviews that I'm going to be doing. All right, guys. Have a great day. Underground Geek out. I wish I knew you when I was young.